This is Radek from Sense, and we are going to talk about nutrition and food. Have you been thinking about like where does your food come from? Yeah, the source of groceries is important, and it's not easy to find to eat all the food that is sustainable, that is ecological, especially if you live in the middle of the city, as as I do. Finding small steps such as cricket proteins or cricket power bars is, I think, a good start for for anyone. I do believe it's not only about eating certain number of carbohydrates, certain number of proteins, but it is maybe even more about the quality of the food, which I think over the last years is getting worse and worse and worse because our soil is just, let's say, tired, is exploited. And all the crops that were really powerful many years ago might not be as powerful at the moment. Mm-hmm. So I try to eat food which is mostly organic if I have mm, source for it. Obviously, I'm not that extreme that I would never buy a vegetable from a supermarket that wouldn't be organic. I think it's also a question of like some kind of balance. The food should not be a stress. It should be a pleasure. I'm very lucky that basically everything that is healthy also tastes really good to me. If you told me that let's go to McDonald's and if you just convinced me that it's healthy, I would still like not really be willing to go for it. I just, it doesn't not, not taste it. that good. Yeah. I heard that some people think that you're a vegetarian. So how much meat do you actually eat? Uh, I'm not vegetarian. I do eat meat. Due to environmental reason, I try to eat meat less. So I definitely don't eat meat twice a day, uh-huh. as I think some of the, the athletes might be eating. I do think that animal protein is important for us. Or if you're vegetarian or vegan, it's just so much harder and takes so much more thinking of what you should eat to really be sure that you have all the nutrients that you need. I guess it's a little bit easier if you eat, if you do eat animal protein. If there are ways, sustainable ways, how to feed your body more essential amino acids, animal protein, which is cricket powder, then it's it's great news for me. And that's why I'm very, very happy to use it. Like definitely our culture is set up on me like like that's that's what you get when you visit your gra- grandma i think for a lot lot of people they, they just they just eat too much meat like we just don't need to eat meat twice a day it might be a cure for an uh, an our environment if we are all vegans or at least vegetarian yet at the same time i do believe that it's quite important for us to humans to eat meat and i think Cricket protein is a great alternative to supplement our bodies with high quality animal protein, which at the same time is sustainable and environmentally friendly. That's the reason why our slogan is really maximal nutrition, minimal harm. <laughs>